Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'd like to show you how to add a background to your website or to your web pages if you would like to. Now, you don't have to use a background on your web page. You can use the default pure white color that it starts you off with when you open the software. A lot of websites just have a, a white background. But if you want to add some color or some texture or a pattern to the background of your web page or uh, your entire website, there's a way to do that very easily with 90 Second Website Builder. It's done in the page properties. Uh, right now I'm under the page menu up here, so it allows me to access the page properties button. I would just click that. Another way to open up page properties is to right click on the canvas and go down here to page properties. Either way, we want to bring up this window window here called page properties. Under this is a tab called style because we're going to style our background. As I said the default is a solid white color and you can use that or you can change that. I'll change that to a different color which is basically any color in the rainbow. You don't have to pick just from this palette. You could also uh, choose from the more colors. Use your dropper or use the uh, color picker here. You can type in the actual code if you know the color that you want. Basically any color you can imagine of course you can use as your background. Here's a little preview of your background um, right here. It's very helpful so when you go to pick a color, I'm going to pick one that's a little bit lighter and I click OK. You can see that's going to be the background of my website. The background is just that. It's in the very back part of the website. So everything else that I drag and drop onto the page now will be on top of, of course, the background. So you can never put anything behind the background. Let me go back here to the Style tab under the Page Properties. If I don't want to use a solid color, I don't have to. There's some other options here. Image is a good option. I'll show you in a minute. That's my favorite, so we'll go back to that. But I could also use what's called a gradient. That's, in other words, two colors. It's not solid. It gradiates from one color to the next. So here I have this sort of light purple and this dark gray. That's creating a gradient. It gradiates from the gray to the purple vertically. Or I could also make it go horizontally. Um, let me pick a better looking color. Maybe if we had kind of a red and a, a yellow. There's kind of a sunburst look. And let's change that to vertical. So now I'm going to gradiate from yellow to orange, and if I click OK, you can see the effect that it creates in my background. You can see how it very subtly changes. That's what a gradient is, of course. That's, as you can see, it's very easy to do, to add either a solid color, a gradiated color, or even multiple gradients. You can have more than one gradient color. Now these start to get actually complicated because there's so many things you can do. So we've built some pre-designed gradient styles you can choose from. So there are several here. Just pick one here at random. Here's what Peacock looks like in vertical mode. If I click OK, you can see that it's created this multicolored effect in the background. You can even make your own multicolor gradients if you really want to. So back to the style tab. We're here in multicolor gradient, and even though I have all of these presets, if I want to, I can edit these styles. Either take one, and like here's beach, and this is what it looks like uh, horizontally. I can see what it looks like vertically. And I could actually edit these to be whatever I want. So I would click the edit button, or I could copy one and edit that, or add a new one of my own. But the editing is pretty easy to do. You click edit and you have all these little tabs here and you can adjust these colors by double clicking on them and opening up the color picker. Clicking OK and changing this and editing this to what you want. Anyway, I'm going to let you play with that. If you want to make your own gradient styles, it's kind of fun to do and you can uh, do all of that here very simply actually. We talked about solid and gradient. There's also patterns that you can put in the background if you want to. You select pattern. And the pattern will pick up on these two colors. Uh, you, so you can change the colors. You can change the style of the pattern. You can see, again, there are several presets. So if we went with the zigzag and we want to change the color, we can do that. And you can see that it picks that up. That's the pattern. There's also texture, and there's just built-in textures. So if you wanted a background that looked maybe a little bit more like a wallpaper, here's sort of a green marble. Click OK, and you can see that it's created that is our background. So I just wanted to give you some idea of how to do that quickly and easily. However, when I create a background, I normally use the image mode. I like to control my background to really match the rest of my website. So when you select the image mode, it changes the options here in the window. It allows me, first of all, to go locate an image on my computer. So I'm going to do that. 
Now these backgrounds I got from the 90 Second Website Builder members area. So if, if you're a member, if you're using the full version, you have access to thousands of graphics and this is uh, one of those folders. So I'm just gonna use one of these. You can use any graphic you want. You don't have to use the ones that uh, we provide in the members area. I'm just loading up this simple background. Now I'm gonna show you something let me make sure the background color, because even though I use an image, it's also going to pick up a background color. Uh, make that white. Watch what happens. So you can see I just picked a little short image like this. You may be saying, well, that's not very much of a background because it's very narrow and very small. Nobody's going to see that. That's right. They won't unless I add a special feature called repeat. I'll show you what I mean. If I go to the page properties, go back to the style. Here's my image that I just chose. It's a little uh, blue header here. I'm going to tell the software to repeat this header across the page horizontally. Watch what happens. I click OK. And now my little image has repeated. Now the advantage of doing that is that repetition is infinite. No matter how big my website gets as far as width goes, that will repeat horizontally forever. I'll show you what I mean. You can see it went past my uh, ruler here. If I click F5 and preview what my website's going to look like in a real browser, you can see that it doesn't matter how wide my website goes, no matter how wide the user's browser is, that header will be there because it repeats horizontally infinitely. So that's kind of a nice trick. Now you wouldn't want to do this with just any image. This was a per particularly good image to do that with because it had this nice little style. But these are easy, easy to find, these repeating background images, or you can even make one in Photoshop or in Paint Shop Pro or whatever you use to make images. You can make a repeating background. Let me show you a different style. Go back to Page Properties. Uh, we'll go under the Style tab, and let's pick a different image. That was what this one looked like. Let's say I picked an image, oh, maybe like uh, one of these squares here. Let's take uh, this sort of white, grayish white square. You can see it has kind of a texture to it. And I'm gonna click this. And if I don't repeat it, just for the sake of clarity, if I don't repeat it, it's just gonna sit in the corner like that. But what I can do is I can repeat this little image, uh, not only horizontally, but I could repeat it vertically as well. In fact, I would say repeat in both directions. Now you'll see this go both up and down and across the page, repeating, and it creates this effect. And I have an infinite background in both directions that is just kind of a nice background for my website. And all it took was one tiny little image, so the page load on this is gonna be really excellent because it's, it's just a tiny little image that it's costing me, so to speak. So that's how you make backgrounds in the page properties with the uh, style tab and in the background mode. Again, depending on the image that you use, the um, background color also applies. It doesn't in this case because I had something repeat in both directions so it covered up the whole background. But if I was gonna use the image I had before, let's say this, let's say this one again, and I want it to repeat, uh, this color does matter. And by the way, I only want this one to repeat horizontally. I wouldn't want that one to go up and down. You can see that the, the color will matter. So if I made this uh, sort of a light blue, click OK, there's my repeating header, but then there's the page background picking up that blue. Another little trick that you can use. So you can make some great images with the images that you have on your computer. Or if you are a member of 90 Second Website Builder, you can use the ones that are in the... Uh, in the graphics library, again, there's a, we have thousands and thousands of uh, graphics for you to work with if you want to. And that's basically how you make a background. Very easy to do. It's one of the first things I do whenever I'm building a website because it just gives me a good start. And, and if I want to apply this background to the rest of my pages, it's easy to do. I can clone this page. When I'm ready to make another page, I can clone this page up here. And then my next page will already have this background in it. Or I can go to Site Properties and set my background here instead. And so I can do everything that I just did on this page and do it here and it will apply to all of my pages if I so choose. So either way, whether you make this be the background for your entire website or just one page at a time, you see that it's really easy and even kind of fun to make a background for your web page in 90 Second Website Builder.